royal family should reinstate Prince Harry's military honours and they should um, honour and respect whatever whatever path they choose to take. And now the qualification that I give behind my reasoning is that I'm a veteran mm. and as Prince Harry was, I served in Afghanistan on the ground, uh, did two tours, just the same as Prince Harry. And actually, one of the tours that he was on um, overlapped with one of mine. Really? Now, any yeah, anyone that anyone that served will tell you that the Iraq and Afghan conflict, no matter your political view, it was horrendous. Yes. Um, the you know the toll on your mental health, the toll on those who didn't come back, the families, you know, life and limb. Now, Prince Harry, let's not forget, he did two he did two of those tours. So I believe he's paid his kind of his debt to his country. And if you look all throughout history, um, the physical security of a nation and its citizens have wow. been guaranteed by young men and women who have been willing to go put their lives at risk and pay the ultimate price, which he has done. So before anything else, I do urge people to you, never forget that and to remember you, Are you surprised by how easily and how quickly that has been overlooked? Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, I am um, I, <laughs> Thanks to so you, you I, are flipping really. Okay. You're absolutely on it. I lost, like, my... So another similarity I have with Prince Harry is that I lost my mum at a young age, so oh, I understand yeah. what it feels like. And the statements that um, they're kind of blaming this on Prince Harry not taking it well, mm. uh, not taking his mother's loss, I think that's a real slap in the face to a man who... Who, who served on the ground, you know, he was a platoon commander, he led, he led men in action, on men and women, so on his first tour, and then on his second tour, he was an Apache pilot. Mm. So the thought that everyone blaming Meghan, and, you, you know, saying that a man who has done such incredible things under the intense kind of, the intensity of combat cannot make up make his own decisions is ludicrous can can and i can i ask you a tricky question and if you if you if you don't have an answer to it then don't be embarrassed to say so um how because i think a lot of us with no military service which is of course almost all of us and then when you expand that to include people who didn't do a tour in afghanistan or, or iraq it, it's a, it's almost everybody how insulated was he by dint of his status from some of the dangers and realities that you for example would have been exposed to I can't. I no, can't. I can't. Fair play. I, to be honest, I can't. I can't speak. Or I can't really. I can't give you an accurate, an accurate answer because I didn't. You know, it was. It was a very well kept. His safety was was guaranteed, but he was not insulated. I don't believe he was insulated. Well, I mean, uh, an, an, an IED back. or a missile attack upon a Would military it? base in Afghanistan is it, 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 not going to be able to work out who's who's a member of the royal family and who isn't, is it? Absolutely. So, uh, in, in my in my view, I'd say no. He wasn't shielded. He was on the ground patrolling. Yeah. It was just that the only shielding he had that was that the press weren't able to let anyone know. Otherwise, obviously, he would be a massive target. Now, on the second tour that he <laughs> just, did... Just let me pause you there, because obviously he would be a massive target. And that just puts a completely different complexion on their complaints about not being afforded royal protection on Civvy Street, so doesn't it? Oh, just, why would I he just... be more of a target in a theatre of war than he would be outside a theatre of war? He's a target for the same reason, isn't he? Yeah. So, can I just... Yes, um, of course I, Just touch on this point. I... I thought about the irony um, of the fact that here is a, a royal who fought for his country and risked his life to protect his country, is who is now having his own protection withdrawn from him 